Welcome back. Uh, I'm Levon, and in today's video, we're going to be going over just a couple of little tips about uh, how to make the water ripples, uh, how to overlay water over a moon, how to maybe make the moon, um, why we're in it. Just a couple of, there's a handful of things in it. You know, nothing too special, but hopefully there are a few things that will help start you off in the process of making spray paint art. So, let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we got our border taped down. This isn't something you have to do. It's just more something I wanted to do for this specific uh, painting. Um, but it does help hold it down. You can put tape on the back if you want or something, or nothing at all. It doesn't matter. So let's place our stencil where we want the moon to, to be. Uh, we'll give it a little shot of some black just lightly around it so we know where we're going to put it. All right, because, you know, we only want it there. We don't want it all out here. Um, or so it just gives a rough idea all right so we want this moon to kind of be maybe like orange and yellow so I'll always start with maybe just a little bit of black to give it that back background depth color and then we're gonna go with like a kind of like that what are you gonna say like a fall moon where it's like orange that bright orange moon um, so a little yellow a little a little bit of orange and you know, you want a good amount, but you don't want too much. You don't want it to be sloppy wet. So, just a little bit of white right here on top. Just kind of brighten it up. And so a little few little spots here, there, wherever it looks good. All right, so we take our paper, we add it, give it a little crumble, not too much. Set it down and wipe. And voila. If you don't like what it is, you can always go back over it. You can always just grab a little bit more paint, put it on top, and start again. Um, sometimes that makes it look a little, a little cooler, in my opinion, because you've got the background little little uh, spots that are going to still be there when you wipe it off again. So we'll go ahead and just add a little more, show you what, what I mean. So a little black on top. Why not? I one enough black. So put the paper down, give it a light wipe, pull it up. And there we have it. Now, if you, any spot you might have missed, maybe give it a little tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Now, it doesn't look like much now, but once we get that back black ground on or that background behind it, it's it's going to be amazing. So right now we want to lighten up this side, darken that one. So give it a little light, a little, just lightly misting. We don't want to color it in. Kind of want to still see the background behind it. A little black up here. You know, that's the negative space of the the, the shadow of the the moon our light source being on the bottom um, no idea where it's coming from just maybe the Sun on the other side of the planet all right so put the stencil on now careful if it's too wet it's gonna leave a ring on it, especially if you drop it down real hard so get it centered up and lightly set it down so we don't leave that little ring okay now we wanna we're gonna make water across the moon so we want to put some colors down here on the bottom that kind of reflect the moon, being the moon's orange. So we're probably going to put a little orange down here. All right. And the moon yellow. So maybe just a little bit of yellow. You, you never know how it'll, how it'll come out. It's a, it's a touch and go. All right. We're just messing around. We're going to see what happens. A little bit of yellow. All right. So up here, we're going to start. Go ahead and black it in. You know. It's a nighttime scene. It is the moon. So get the black going around the edges of your stencil here for your moon. Not too hard. Don't spray right at the bottom. Spray more on it, on your stencil, so it doesn't spray underneath it or leak underneath it. All right. Now, sometimes you put a little color in the background. The moon's orange, so we'll throw a little orange back there. And then you just touch it up on the... I have a clog spout there sorry all right and you touch that back over just a little black and just a little bit and you see the orange still sands out behind it that looks kind of cool too now what I prefer is you know to to go with blue but see we can do a little yellow here so you can see what that is as well when it's behind it we're just showing you different things see yellow kind of shows up I don't really like it 
So I like blue. I think blue looks great in the back for space. You put a little blue down, and that didn't work. Oh, that's clogged up. All right. Come on. All right. There we go. Blue. little blue back there. Nice and bright. But then a little black. And there we go. You can see that little blue in the back. It just kind of gives it more of a that look of space in the back. Like you, when you look up at the sky, you don't have just black. You get some other colors depending on where you're at. If you're in the city, I guess, then you wouldn't quite see any of the other colors because of light pollution. All right, so we want to get some stars. I got to put on this really small glove. I got the wrong sizes. Small. Ugh. Barely fit my fat fingers in it. All right. So we're going to put some stars. Flick, flick. Put a little white paint on the end of the finger. And there we go. Flick, 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 flick. Now, I spray it on my finger and I give it a flick um, over off to the side on some paper first. Because if you spray it on your finger and then flick, you're going to instantly get some really big white dots. And you know, depending on how big you want your stars, you may want to flick a, some of the paint off first before you start. All right. So I give it a little white touch down here kind of makes that ring around it just something I like to do I don't it's probably going to disappear with the water here in a minute but there's our moon so basic moon um the video does not do it too much justice it's not a great camera all right so we let it dry and we'll come back here here we are all right blue so we want that for our water um something nice and hard some kind of poster board or I got a piece of steel here that I just set there something to keep the water or keep the blue paint from shattering up on the misting up on the moon we don't quite want that so give it a good blue blue over um, you can use dark blue and then a lighter blue I actually used a, a medium blue here and then I'm gonna use this lighter blue it's more like a or like a, a greenish blue or whatever and it's it works all right then a little bit of white a little bit of black in there for some shadows, some lighter colors. And, all right, so we're going to show you how to do a couple of different ways you can do water. So you can leave it like this if you want. It's kind of flat and plain. But if you get you a poster board, nice hard one. I happened to grab, like, the worst one I had. But you put it on it, and you want to make sure that the water is wet enough. If it dried, it's not going to do this very well. But this is my favorite technique to do. With the poster board this isn't working too well um crappy poster board and the paint's not too wet you can always fold it over like this a little harder some people i've seen like to do that better it doesn't give it such sharp edges i uh, whatever i like the flat one but let's wet it a little bit with some clear coat because it's it's dried very quick it's horrible weather outside it's everything is drying too quick all right so this see if you got a rounded if you round it by folding it it gets you don't have as sharp of edges and I don't quite like that I like the sharp edges I don't know that's me I'm I'm weird all right so you can pull it down and you know if it back and forth gently back and forth real real you know you push down but not too hard just kind of lightly just there we go back and forth if you missed a spot you can go back over it if it's dried throw a little more clear coat on it all right and another thing you can do you can always use like a harder something harder like my piece of steel here i mean obviously something smaller this thing's a bit wider than the whole painting but you can go across it with that and it also works um you know just kind of play around figure out what you want to use make your water what looks good um now typically this right here isn't bad for a beginner painting the water wise it's not horrible there's a couple of spots that you can go back over like right in the center there under the moon kind of missed it and then you can just take the corner here or something and just grab your little area that you missed and fix it up um now another way that people do it that i've seen out at a street fair is you just put on a glove there or you can use your finger if you want paint on your hands but you put on a glove which here I go. Gotta go get a small a small glove because I just have to have this. Watch the shadow. Look at this. Look at this. Small glove. Can't not get my fingers in this glove. This is seriously, guys. When you if you if you buy gloves for this and you go out, you know, read the box. Make sure you don't do what I did and just think that 
where the mediums are. They're all mediums. Obviously, somebody put a small pack there. I already bought it, opened it. They weren't going to take them back. So I've got to try to fit my nubbly little fingers on this thing. Okay, so what you can do is get a little clear because that was not quite enough, wet enough now. And you can, as you can see, my fingers are not all the way in there. And just wipe it back and forth, just back and forth lightly. And that'll give you this water look as well. Um, I If I do it like this with the fingers all across it, I, I actually like to put those ripples in it first with the poster board and then do it. I think that, that it, it adds to it a little more than if you were just to spray it on there and then wipe it with your hands. Um, it tends to look more like maybe like an oil painting or something like that if you if you just put it on and wipe it. But all right, so we got the water down. Let's you know this is very flat. It's it's not it's not bad, but let, let's put something in there to kind of break the uh, the horizon some. So maybe like a big rock out here, kind of mountain. So just take some poster board, rip off a section, and just like that. This one's gonna be a bit big, but put it where you want it. I want maybe overlap the moon a little bit here. Uh, yeah, 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 like that. I think that's good. And be careful if it's st if your painting's still wet, this will stick to it. So. Hold it lightly, or just wait for it all to dry first. But there we go. You know, don't be afraid of it going down the water a little more than you wanted it to. You know, you you can't. You're gonna want that. Now for another rock, let, let's make it a different, a different uh, shape to it. Just something different. There we go. And mm, some some maybe like right there, just up a little closer from the other rock. There we go. All right, and. So we got the top, let's, let's go ahead and we'll flip it over, we'll do the same thing for the bottom, kind of make the shadow in the water, you know. We're going to smear that in later here while it's still wet, and we'll just do a little over here, kind of bring it down into the water as well. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to smear this in. Now, I'm not going to fight with another glove, so we're just going to just use my finger here. Alright, so smear it in there. Why it's still wet. Just lightly smear it. Kind of blend it in with the water. Make it like it's the shadow. You know, the moon's on the other side. So this is the dark side. And you need this shadow being casted from the moon. And bring it out some. You know, it's your pain. Where, where, where you think it needs to go, it'll look good. Just take your time. Have fun with it, guys. Alright, so bring it down. There we go. All right, now we want to kind of, we got the shadows there. Now we kind of want to make that water line, right? So I want to know where the rock meets the water and this is kind of separates from the, the shadow in the water. So just take some poster board, a little, little white there. And this is this is pretty basic. I mean, we can do layers and get into colors and make it look amazing and we'll, we'll get to that in other videos. This one we're just, Little little tips, little ideas. So just tap, 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 um, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> All right, just we'll break it up a little bit. There we go. See, so tap, 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 tap. You don't have to do a straight line. You can a little less in some sections, just to kind of make it look more, more realistic. But have fun with it. Put it where you want it to go. I I like to bring it out into the water a little bit more than the rock. Kind of like. I like wakes, ripples coming off the side of the rock, something like that. You know, it just looks right to me. All right, this is this is coming together. So. All right, so now we want to make a nice little edge on it. You can always do this. You don't have to, but you can. And now you don't want too much because remember the lights on the other side of the rock we cannot see. So, and look at that color come through there, the orange, the different color there we have from the from the the moon. That was underneath it. Now just pull, bring a little out, like the lights come around the rock a little bit, but not, not too far, because the light can't reach the other side of the rock here. And we want it to look kind of real, you know. It's a, it's a painting of our imagination, so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we'll do this side over here. Bring it, bring some little pieces down into the rock. There we go. Give the little rock shapes and. You don't have to do that. You can do 
exactly what what feels right. You can do what feels right. All right. A few more little like the lights coming around the rock. All right. And there. And right there. I, th I think that's 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 about good. I th I think that's good. All right. Now we can do some like water ripples. You can do some birds. A bird's work. You can get the little piece of a. Uh, you can use a little piece of the cardboard here. There you go, little bird. See, if you want to do those. I don't know if I'm gonna put birds on this one. So just show you over here. All right. So we bird and bird. See, I, I tore it, made it a little flatter, and now you get them straight V birds. No good. No good. I don't like them. I really don't like doing the birds. I don't think they look right when I do them. <laughs> Ah, uh, practice. Practice, we'll get them. I might put some on there, I don't know. We'll see. But, you can take the same thing with the some white on a piece of cardboard. And just keep it at a little slight bend. You know, the waves are coming in. So you kind of want to bend the cardboard up a little bit at a U angle, just slightly. Back there, we can keep it a little straighter. A little more straight, and uh, there, a little U, and just real light. Just kind of show the water's coming in through the rocks. You know, that's something else you can do you, you know you don't have to do this all right okay so now we're back I made some birds all right well, I let it dry we made some birds um, as you can see I really don't like to make birds because look at these things look at these things this is like something straight out of like Wes Craven or something over here this is, is, it, is, that, is that who made that movie birds Wes Craven I really don't know. It's an old movie. It was a good movie. I just don't remember. All right, so a couple of birds and all right. Let's do some like fog shadow. So take your paper, lean it up, keep it off of the uh, painting, just up a little bit. And now remember, you want to spray on the poster board on the, on your paper. Don't spray at the painting. Let the paint hit the poster board hit the paper and just mist downwards off of it at that angle and you'll get these now they say less is more so I always put way more than needed because I get kinda cloud and fog happy I I don't know I don't know why <laughs> that's a bit much but you get the idea so you can do what you want but remember the main thing you want to do is sign it we definitely want to sign our paintings, you know. Even if you don't think it's that good, you know, 100 years from now, maybe a grandkid, something, a great-grandkid, something, they may have this and it may be worth a million dollars. Who knows? Who knows? But always sign it. Be proud of it. Doesn't matter. We are, as artists, our worst critics. But sign it. Know that it's amazing. And... We will definitely make a better one next time. All right, so guys, I did this one just to kind of show you what was going on. And I do hope you like it. It's uh, not the greatest. There's little flaws in it. Still looks nice. But I hopefully it showed you a couple of different little techniques, little, little things you want to, little things you could do to make a painting better. You don't have to do them all in one. You know, Just remember them. And remember the... Uh, the main main rule here paint safely have fun there's no reason this can't be safe and fun thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you on our next video